Hey guys, I have an interesting endgame puzzle for you here. It's white to play. And the question is, who wins this position? White's pawns are going this direction. Black's pawns are going this direction. If you'd like to pause and think through that, and then we'll talk about this puzzle and what's going on. All right, well, if you had a chance to look at that, you should have been able to right away say that there's no way black should be able to win because if we want as white, we can get a perpetual check right away. So we can go check. Black can't go to F8 or they get checkmated, right? So they have to go in the corner and then we can just simply check, check, and we can just keep going back and forth with our rook, checking the king over and over again and the game would be a draw, All right, So that's pretty straightforward. No way black can win. However, the big question is, is that the best we can do as white, just get a perpetual check, or do we have a way to win? So obviously one of the major benefits for us as white is that we do have both of these rooks cutting off black's king, and black's king is very limited in, in the options that it has, which is great. However, there's not enough space, um, or, or I should say there's enough space for black to escape to where we can't just checkmate them right away with the rooks, right? If there's only two two spaces for the king, uh, we would be able to checkmate easily. The other thing that we have to worry about is this rook is lined up on this pawn, which is about to become a queen, right? We can't allow that to happen or then we probably would lose. So for example, if we go check, 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 and then we decide, you know what, let's just push my pawn and see if I can use this to get a queen. That's not going to cut it because black's going to simply, actually they wouldn't get the queen right away. They would throw in this check then we would move, then they would get the queen, and now we actually lose. And the reason is we don't even have the perpetual check anymore because of that move here. They can escape with their king, and we don't have any good checks, right? This check loses our rook, black still has the queen, we lose, right? So we do have to be careful for that. So with that in mind, um, if you would like to pause one more time and think, are there any resources or ideas or ways that you see that we can win this position as white? Go ahead and do that, and then I'll tell you what the secret is. All right, if you had a chance to look at that, so the, the answer to the question is yes, we can win, uh, and here's how you do it. We start off with the check. Like I mentioned, the king can't go here, has to go to the corner. We play check again. We play check again. And now we play rook back to d7, and this is actually a clever move. Um, we are controlling this file, which is important, but we're also creating another threat. So for example, if black were to just push this and get a queen thinking that, okay, if we take the queen, they take our rook, everything is good. We actually checkmate them with rook to h8. So this was our hidden threat behind playing rook to d7. Okay, we have this checkmate right here. So because of that, black essentially has to play one of two things. They, they have to either, well, one of three things. They have to either go ahead and trade the rooks, play rook to e4 check, or play king back to g8. Now, first of all, if they just trade the rooks, this doesn't really give us too many problems. We simply take it, and now there's no way for black to defend this pawn, except by bringing the rook down here, but then the rook is just stuck guarding the pawn, and we simply push our pawn, and we're gonna get a queen, and black can't really stop us. So they have to abandon the pawn at some point, and let's say they go here, we take this, they go here, we take this. And once we get this position, this is a relatively easy win for us. We're going to use our king to help support our pawn, push it down, and eventually black's going to have to sacrifice the rook for our, our new queen. And then we have a king and a rook, which is a pretty easy win, right? So that's kind of the, the problem if black just simply trades rooks here. Now, rook to e4 check is another idea, trying to get clever with the rook. And this actually sets a little trap for us. If you'd like to pause, what move should we play here as white? All right, if you had a chance to look at that, if you said king takes b5, which is really the, the natural looking move, you'd be wrong. And it's it's very clever. We actually have to play king to a5 to win the game. And here's why. If we take on b5, black is going to play check and just keep checking us. If we stay here, we have to either run up or run down. And if we run up, it's going to keep checking us. And if we run up, he's going to now trade and then go here. And what this move does, because we've moved our king up to the seventh rank, it forces a trade of rooks, which means our rook can no longer take this pawn, which is a big problem for us, right? Because this pawn's about to become a queen. And so the best thing that we could do is actually to get a draw, because we're going to get our own queen, but we get this position, which is ultimately a draw, okay? So that is very clever by black. And by the way, I should mention, running down the board doesn't really help us either. Uh, for example, 
black can simply trade again and then just bring the rook over here and this is also a draw we're going to lose our pawn uh we're going to get black's pawn it's a draw right that's why we had to keep our king next to the pawn so regardless of what we do black's going to get a draw so going back to this position sorry after rook to e4 we can't take it we have to play king to a5 and the point is we're using this pawn as kind of a shield to black can't keep checking us like this and now black has to figure out okay how do i deal with the problems that i have number one is a checkmate threat here number two is uh, you know the, the same problem that we talked about this pawn pushing and so for example if the rook comes over to a4 again we don't take the pawn because if we take it we get this this and now rook to a2 black defends the pawn still has the pressure here and ultimately after something like a7 black's going to simply sacrifice and we can't take it or they get a queen so we have to take their pawn it's still a draw so very clever so what we need to do again is leave the pawn and go to b6 and we are using this pawn as a shield to prevent checks from the black rook so if black tries to do the exact same thing takes takes and let's just say put the rook on a2 now we can play a7 and before if you remember our king was actually on b5 not defending our pawn which means black could sacrifice and then get the queen but now our king is there to take it and so you can see how important it was for our king to go to b6 and not take the pawn on b5 so very clever however all that to say after rook to e4 check we will win if we do that little maneuver with our king right so very clever so because of that the main line here is for black to actually go back to g8 remember black's trying to prevent the checkmate and so that's why they move king to g8 so we can't go here and checkmate them so the question is what do we do now to win the game all right well if you had a chance to look at that the idea um that we would like to do is to bring this rook over here we would like to go here and essentially put black into a position where regardless of what they do we're going to be able to win the pawn so we'd like to take this rook so for example let's just say black gets the queen we're going to take here with check they have to take us we take the queen this is a winning king and rook end game we're going to take this pawn eventually push this down and because black's king is too far away to help it's going to be a win however when we play here black can simply play the move king to f8 and it attacks us and we no longer have the idea of trading and forcing the rook to leave now black can take this way and that rook still defends this pawn which is a big problem for us okay so going back here the way we get around this problem is by throwing in rook to g7 check and the point is this if the king goes there now this is checkmate okay that's a nice little checkmate so black has to move back in the corner and we've essentially pushed the king one extra space over and now we come back over here line up on the rooks and remember the move that we were afraid of king to f8 is too far for the king king g8 doesn't cut it right um on king g8 we simply take here and then we take and we get this winning king and, and rook endgame um the only other thing black could try would be to like uh, get a queen same thing we take here with check and it forces this capture and then we take the queen we get the winning king and pawn endgame or king and rook endgame so that's it um pretty confusing and very subtle you can see how these subtle moves here and there make a big difference and this is true with pretty much all rook endings you have to be extremely precise and so before i end the video let's go ahead and actually talk about how would we win this as white if black tries to defend so first of all if they try to defend their pawn we can simply play a7 and the rook has to go back and stop this otherwise uh we're just getting a queen the king is too far right so let's say they go back now we can take this and if they just try to blockade us we just move our king up forces the rook away and we get a queen the only thing black could maybe try would be to like come over here and try to like put us in check from the side so for example if we just like move here they could just keep checking us keep checking us you know keep checking us like this however we have a very easy way to win we simply bring our king over so that we can use our rook as a shield so after a check we can block with the rook and now it's an easy win uh, the other thing black could have tried would be to come over here we simply come down with check and after the king moves now we can get our queen and it's defended and so we're going to win regardless so that's how you would win and that's ultimately what you had to see with this puzzle is getting into this position right here where the king was too far to help out by going to f8 so a pretty difficult puzzle to be honest with you i didn't see all of these subtle variations so don't feel bad if you didn't see those but hopefully you did learn something 
about how subtle rook endings are and um Oh, real quick, I almost forgot to mention tomorrow night is the first private group lesson on the channel. So there's a new membership tier. This is for people who have asked me about individual one on one coaching. This is a private group lesson where you can get more personalized attention. You can ask specific questions. Currently, there's only one person signed up. So if nobody else signs up, that person is essentially getting one on one lessons. Um, at a big discount. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put the link in the description below. It's essentially going to be a live stream where we talk about a specific topic and I really focus on answering your questions and making sure that everybody understands that topic. So it's very different than my other live streams where I'm just kind of playing. I'm not really necessarily paying attention to the chat the whole time. This is going to be very different. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Um, the link is in the description. And like I said, there's only one person signed up right now. So it's probably going to be a relatively small group. Um, all right. Having said that, I'll see you guys next time. Stay sharp, play smart, take care.